North Texas is a great place to live and is still booming, really booming, according to the U.S. Census Bureau's latest population estimates. Dallas has been described as an economic powerhouse with unemployment at 3.3% and economic growth at 3%. However, we're feeling some of the growing pains on our daily commutes and through the impact of soaring real estate and apartment costs. And underneath all of this growth are painful and less known problems. An overwhelming 30% of our children live in poverty leaving Dallas tied with Phoenix for the third worst child poverty rate among major U.S. cities. To visualize this number, the fourth largest covered sports stadium by capacity is our very own AT&T Stadium. The number of Dallas County children living in poverty would fill the stadium two and a half times. What's more, with 10.6% of local children lacking insurance coverage, Dallas is double the national average of uninsured children. One in three students in Dallas County is an English language learner, and many are immigrants with no citizenship status. According to a 2017 homeless count, 16% of all homeless in Dallas County are children. What can be done about the plight of these underserved populations? Hello, my name is Jody Mao. I'm the board chair of the Lifesavers Foundation. We are beginning our third year of operation with the Dr. Spot, and we have been able to see over 2,500 children. That averages to about 100 children per month since we began in September of 2016. So we know that we are providing a very, very needed service for uh, children and their parents. Um, one of the things that we see is that these parents really are hopeless. They have, many of them are refugees. They don't have access to um, just the basic things like a well check or an athletic exam. Uh, even, even at a doctor's office, an athletic exam costs $25. We had a woman who had four children. They all wanted to be in sports. She wasn't going to be able to allow them to play because she couldn't even afford the $25 for each child. So we have multiple stories like that. Another place that we are really finding children in need is at the alternative schools. Many of these kids are homeless teenagers. They are, many of them are on drugs. They have serious um, problems. They've been abandoned by their parents. They possibly are runaways, but most of them have just been deserted. And we, we have found um, that our, our mobile pediatric unit is, is able to intervene in these lives of these kids that are really hopeless. And many of them we are finding are returning to the doctor spot to speak to Chandra and our staff because it's a safe place. And we we love that it is providing a place for these kids to receive medical care, but more than that, counseling and the love of Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Chandra Smith. I'm the pediatric nurse practitioner on board the Dr. Spot. One particular case that I would like to share with you involves a family of two. This family was quite special because they came in for just a simple sports physical. This visit was anything but ordinary. Um, after speaking with them about some of the social aspects of the sports physical, it was revealed that the mom recently became homeless. We consult, uh, consulted the school counselor to see if we can find mother a place to stay. The school counselor actually found uh, a hotel, but um, it was going to cost um, a few hundred dollars. Um, I asked the counselor how was this going to be paid and he said it would have to be raised. And so for me, I did not want this family to go another day with uncertainty of where their mother would live. So I offered to pay. And I paid for a week's worth of a hotel stay for her and her children. So I say this just to say here at the doctor spot, we're, just, we're not just medical. We're not, we don't just attend to the medical issues of the family. We tend to the emotional, the spiritual, and sometimes the financial needs of a family. 
The thing that has affected me the most is hearing the stories. The stories that happen on board the doctor spot. Uh, a, a young um, Hispanic family with a special needs child. They've walked over a mile with a stroller and our staff was able to interpret the needs, refer to a neurologist. They were able to calm their fears, get the child into a special needs class at the local school, and give all of them their immunizations. That family is changed forever. They have been rescued, and that's what we do. We rescue families in crisis. Dallas is a great place to live and work. However, it's the quality of its people, people like you, who understand that caring for those who are less fortunate than ourselves isn't just an investment in our city's future health. More importantly, we are encouraged to do so in Isaiah 49.10. They will neither hunger nor thirst, nor will the desert heat or the sun beat down on them. He who has compassion on them will guide them and lead them beside springs of water. Thank you for your most generous support of the Dr. Spot. It's the right thing to do.